and gentlemen, today's story time is going to be a dual story time here. I'm here with the other Jordan. What's yeah, up? that's him. That's Shipley TV right there. Woo! His link is in the top of the description. But we're going to tell you guys just a couple vomit stories that we've had from recent. And uh, I'm really excited to share this with Jordan. I think you should go first here because you want to the story. I didn't really believe that it was a true story. So <laughs> back in like, I think third grade, um, it was towards the end of the semester. We were taking tests in class and it was like at the end of the day, uh, we were taking a test, uh, and so this kid, Glenn, he was a cool kid, finished first, went up to the front, dropped his test off at the front of the desk, Good and uh, man. Glenn, dude, Good I don't even Glenn remember his last back. name, and he starts walking back, Glenn and I sit pretty close to each other, so he's walking back down the middle aisle of, like, the desks, and he, like, slows down in front of my desk, and I, like, look up at him, I'm like, yo, what's up, Glenn? He doesn't really stop and talk to me. He like looks at me for a second really weirdly and then all of a sudden he just projectile vomits all over me, <laughs> all over my test, all over my shirt, all over my desk, everywhere. Teacher has to go grab like one of those giant rolly like big trash cans and like bring, <laughs> bring it. I and can't. He, and he's just, I literally. And so I'm sitting there completely shocked, vomit all over me and this is the day we had student council. I was president of student council. In third grade, you, dude. I know, dude. Did you get a hat? I peaked yeah. in third grade. Yeah. He... <laughs> <laughs> and so, exactly. uh, and so, I had to go home, get changed. Uh, but yeah, it was a very uncomfortable experience, and I, I, I threw up I'm, a little bit in my mouth. Like I was, I would have, I would have projectile vomited back onto him. Dude, I, I back it onto was. There literally, it, as soon as I saw it coming out of his mouth, I would have met it like a Dragon Ball Z anime. Fight Dude, it was scary. Yeah. We would have battled with our vomit until one of us overcame. It was straight up like scarring. a lightsaber duel. I, I don't know how you. I don't know how you. I would have. I actually might have shoved a pencil through my own face. Dude, I in that exact moment, I would have. I would have killed myself. What do you got for us? Well, you know what? Um, so my current girlfriend, her name is Kylie, and uh, you've seen her coming up in Lovely. some vlogs. She's very, very pretty and very awesome. And uh, <laughs> but uh, we uh, we're on a date, right? We're we're going to our little pizza place that's here in Kansas City, and it's in the uh, the river market area. And it's very delicious, and they have happy hours late at night because she's like me; she stays up very very late, which is perfect. And that's probably one o'clock in the morning, and we get out, and she's like, "Hey, can I drive?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that sounds fun. Like you can drive my Charger. It's a V8. It's a Hemi. You know what I'm saying? Like, Woo! you drive it fast." So I'm like. Man, I, I had one beer, but I ate that pizza really fast. Yeah. And see, I like to joke around, so I was probably doing some stupid shit, like pretend I was gonna chug like the one beer that I had. Yeah. Well, it's a Peroni, and Peroni is an Italian beer, and it's very, very, very um, carbonated and apparently acidic. Because I, I sat down in the passenger seat, and I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. And I like look over to the right, and I put my hand over my face, and I try to, I try not to vomit. And I vomited and it shoots through my hand. It goes all the way down on my shirt. Now, I told you guys a story once before where I've hidden the fact that I vomited with her out the window, out of the driver's side window. She didn't notice. But this time, she noticed. And she goes, what was that sound? Because I threw the vomit down on the concrete and it made a slapping sound. And I looked over at her with vomit on my face and on my shirt and I said, I can't hide this one from you. I really messed up. And it was all over my shirt, all over the ground. So I had to take my sweater off. And she looked at me and she was like, why didn't you just tell me you didn't feel well? And I was like, honestly, sometimes I just projectile vomit and I don't know when it's gonna come. And she was like, that's okay, just tell me these things. So obviously she's a keeper because she doesn't mind that I throw up, sweat from my pits profusely, yeah. and uh, and also throw up on my on my Astro sweater, which was very, very depressing. So shout out to you, babe, wherever you're at at home right now. Uh, I might have given you strep throat as well because I, I'm healing, so I, I, I apologize. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to follow Jordan. We got we got more stories, more hopefully videos. Hopefully, you weren't eating during this. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, you weren't eating during this whole video, actually, because uh, we might have just given you diabetes, yeah. actually, from the thought of, or maybe you just vomited on your plate, perhaps. And if you did, yeah, let us know. Congrats. Hashtag vomit daddy in the comments below. Be sure to follow Jordan's channel in the top of the description as well, and uh, have yourselves a good day. Whoa.